<laughs> I feel funny. Oh, sweetheart. The teleportation got to you. Uh... Don't worry, Aphmau. You'll get used to it. It's always weird when you go through a portal powered by a mystical node. Trust me. You'll get the hang of it. <laughs> I need to get the hang of my stomach right now. Now, I know how Caitlin feels about motion sickness. I'll make you my best ginger concoction when I get a chance. Though, you did a great. This isn't a simple spell. It relies on the memory of the caster to teleport successfully. And even then, they need to have it printed on the place. If a witch or wizard does not feel any attachment to that location, their spells backfire. You, my dear, might be able to do this on your own someday. Uh, I'm so excited. Yay! And then I get to vomit all over the place! There are spells for that, my dear. Now, are you going to just sit there, or are you going to go see your boys? Uh, Levin and Malachi. <sighs> <sighs> right. I'll head there now. Wanna come with? Hmm. I'll stay here. I need to check up on a few things in the house and make sure Bigglesworth has been taking care of the place. Plus, I need to make you that ginger. Go on ahead. Mm, right. Um, are you sure, by the way? You seem a little preoccupied. Hmm, I'm thinking about a few things. Like, do I want to leave this house here and make a new one on the island? I don't know. It's just something I want to ponder about for a bit. Hmm, is that a smart thing to do? I mean, you've had this house forever. Exactly why I'm thinking of making a new one. It's certainly not a big deal for a witch to get a new house. I haven't made a decision yet. I only want to think on it. Hmm. I see. All right, if that's the case, I'll leave you be. Once I'm done in the village, I'll meet you back here. I might take a while, though. Take all the time you need, darling. Hmm. I will. That portal isn't going anywhere. Make sure you get everyone you can. Mm-hmm. I'll meet you back here, Lucinda. Be back. Ugh, my stomach. <laughs> Look, Levin, the trade routes near castles are getting dangerous. We better hope Tula stays right where- Levin! Malachi! Mom! <sighs> How was your trip? We weren't expecting to see you back so soon. I- Wait. We didn't notice a ship coming into the docks. How did you get here? <laughs> Let Mom catch her breath, Levin. It's great to see you, Mom. <laughs> Malachi. Levin is just excited. <laughs> anyway, I- just got in a short while ago. Lucinda teleported us here, and I'm back because we found the island that we're looking for. That's great news! I knew you could do it! What's the island like? It will take a while to describe. <sighs> but where do I begin? Wow. That's crazy! An island with intact ruins? And everyone else is alright? How's Lawrence? Lawrence is fine. <laughs> well, for now, at least. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> when I left, he was trying to build a house. That's wonderful! <laughs> yeah, you would think. Only problem is, he doesn't know how to build from scratch. It's actually hilarious to watch he and Travis, who are like, running around with chickens with their heads cut off. <laughs> Sounds like he could use some help. Wait, building houses? That means... Mm-hmm. Correct. We're building the new home of the Phoenix Alliance. We may not know much about this new island, but I can tell you that it's an important place. Um, it's just perfect for a new home. But you're right, we do need help. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm here. 
Our new goal is to try to build a new town on that island, a place for all the people of Ruan, regardless of alliances. But it turns out we're not the best builders, or farmers for that matter. I know things around here are really tough, but I've come to ask for help. We'll do whatever we can to help. <laughs> what do you need? Well, we need people. Any people who can spare a hammer or tend to a field. Hmm. Hold on a second, Mom. Malachi, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, of course. Uh... uh okay. Whisper, 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 whisper. Dang it, Levin, I told you no one understands when you just say whisper like that. Come on, stop being weird and just talk in the open. Okay, okay. I think Yip would be the best choice. Y yip Are you sure? Absolutely. He's young, sure. But he's capable and eager to help. Hmm. But you need to talk to Donna and Logan, of course. Uh. Alright. Well, I'll at least find Yip and talk to him then. Oh wait, there's one more thing. I think it would be best, don't you? Absolutely. I really don't like this cryptic stuff, guys. Just tell me. You should take Zoe with you. Z Zoe? I mean, I, I, I would love to bring Zoe along with me. She's always been so helpful in the past. But are you guys sure about this? Absolutely. We love Zoe. But I think she's been kind of depressed the last couple of months. She's just been cooped up in her house most of the time, and when we do see her, she seems so distracted. We've tried talking to her about it, but she won't tell us. We think maybe she needs a change of scenery. Something different, you know? Hmm. I get it. Could you please just talk to Zoe at least? See if she's interested. We just want her to be happy. Hmm. Alright, I'll go see what's going on with her. Right. We'll be here if you need anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zoe's house. You mean her room, right? Is she here? No. She's out and about in the village. Not sure what she's up to right now. Hmm. I see. Alright, boys. I'll be back in a little bit. Um. Yeah. Thank you. be so hospitable for me. Oh, I, I just want you to feel welcomed. You have no idea how much I've missed you. She smiles. I understand. And you have no idea how much I've missed you too. Ahem. <clears throat> but to answer your questions, I arrived only a little bit ago. I left all my animals in Phoenix Drop for the time being. Levin and Malachi fixed up my old barn at the house um, for them to be there. Oh, I see. Ah. Uh, Mm hmm I didn't want to bring them until I could make sure this place was safe for them. Not that I don't trust you, it's just... You know how I feel about my precious babies. <laughs> I completely understand, Kiki. I'm sort of relieved you decided to wait. Truth be told, we don't have much of a barn for all the animals we have planned coming. We just started to work on that today. Again, we had no idea when you would be arriving. It's perfectly fine. <laughs> it is kind of nice, though, because now that you're here, we could really use your help on designing a proper barn for all the animals. I'd be oh so happy to help with that. <laughs> Perfect. Mom, look at the stick I found. Uh, oh, wow. That's a lovely stick. I know, right? However, it smells funny. <laughs> Leona, it's great to see you. Pleasure, madame. <laughs> if you're wondering how I found this village, it's
it's because of my little werewolf girl here. Uh, what? Really? She tracked human sense. Oh, wow. Not just that, Mom. There's another werewolf here, too. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, oh. Yep is here? Uh-huh. Donna and Logan allow him to come and live with us. Who's Yip? Uh, oh. Ah, you wouldn't remember him, Leona, since you were a baby at the time, but Yip is a full-blooded werewolf. Oh, full-blooded? Yes, he's just a few years older than you. Athmau had brought him back from Phoenix Drop after his village was destroyed. Oh. I've never met a full-blooded werewolf. He will soon. Then you can ask him all the questions you want. Is Yip around, Afma? Uh, no. He went out with Caitlin and Dimitri to scout the area for more materials. Ah, so Dimitri made it here already. Uh-huh. Caitlin's been acting as his mentor. Mentor? Uh, well, that's actually her fancy name for this dumb kid took my weapon and now I'm going to kick his butt by making him do all my extra work. <laughs> really, she's just making his stay here harder since she honestly can't stand him. Sounds like Dimitri. That little kid is always causing trouble. Uh, she pulls Leona's ear. Uh, <laughs> and you, little missy, are no better. Uh, <laughs> uh, what's that? Huh? What's what? That lake. Ha! <laughs> That's not a lake, Leona. <laughs> That's the ocean. <laughs> uh, what? Yes. Leona, you may go. Uh, yes! Big water! Uh, <laughs> has she never seen an ocean before? No. I've been very overprotective of her for a good portion of her life. Uh, why? And she's never seen a f another full-blooded werewolf? Kiki, didn't you used to go and visit werewolves? I yes. And when she was a baby, I would take her to visit them. But there was this incident where another werewolf tried to eat her. Oh, what? I'd rather not talk about it. But since that day, I just... I just want to keep an eye on her. I was never made... I was never more scared in my life for my baby. Uh, I know what you mean, Kiki. My sons were taken from me not too long ago, and I went ballistic looking for them. I'm glad I, I have you too. K k kiki uh, uh, Brendan? B -b 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 Brandon? Uh, hey, Brandon! You made it! Sis! Uh, Brandon! Jeez, it's been so long! You knucklehead! You should have sent word to me in ages! And now here I found you with your lazy butt here? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's my fault. I've been busy. What in the world could you have been so busy with that you forgot to send note to your sister? My wife, Issa, gave birth to our daughter, Del. What? Oh, I'm so excited to see the baby, Brendan. Are Issa and Del here? Not yet. Issa is finishing packing up. I wanted to come scout the area to make sure this place was safe. <laughs> really? That's so funny, because Kiki here pretty much just did the- You married Issa and had a baby, Brennan? Why didn't you tell your sister about this? It's not a big deal. I mean, you've met Issa. What? And you guys were just dating then? And having a baby isn't a big deal? It's a huge deal! That means my little brother has finally grown into a man! Uh, uh, I've always been a man! Look at these pexes! Uh, that doesn't, that doesn't even, Brennan, come on, when were you planning on telling me? Uh, does now, no, now doesn't count. <laughs> I'm an auntie, auntie Kiki, where's this baby, where's Issa? 
Uh, well, um, that's, you know, we just, he just said that his family was finishing packing up. Kiki? Afmel, I'm an auntie. Tiny details don't matter anymore. Huh? That's kind of a big deal that, like, pertains to the question you're asking? Okay, okay, look. I'm sorry.